Well, welcome my fellow travelers. Your traveling buddy here coming today from Palo, Michigan for right now. If you haven't watched my last video, um, I just showed the grave of the second Batman. Uh, and I just showed his grave. And then I I'm going to be driving back to Lansing to visit the grave of the guy that they worked for at the air circus. But I figured as I'm going back, I want to make a, one of my travel videos going the back roads and seeing what we can find on the back roads. So let's hit the road and find, find some cool stuff. So travel with me, will you? Here's something that I had to show, look. Kind of reminds you of the Simpsons a little bit, remember? Except for they're not on fire. Look at a mountain of tires. Holy cow. Looks like there might have been a structure that used to be right here. Look at a mountain of tires right there. Boy, I'm sure you're glad they don't have smell-o-vision for you guys. Because these guys see these tractors right out here? They're spraying manure all over or you know, like all this stuff over their crops and stuff. And it stinks out here right now. It smells. Whew. You definitely you know you're in the countryside. Okay, guys, I don't do abandoned things very much, but look at this old house I came across. I had to show this. Holy cow! That didn't scream a ghost house. Ooh, look at it. Floor is falling down. Right there. I ain't going any closer. It's about as close as I'm going to get. Look at that. I wonder how old that house is. Man. That is crazy. You can see right through it. Wow. Closer. Ain't gonna try and go in it. Oh, look behind it. There's uh, some equipment behind it. Like an old tractor or something. Like an old tractor or something back there. Wow. Look at that. You can see the chimney right there. That's about to fall in. The old garage or carriage house, possibly. You can see the old tin roof, it's got an old tin roof on it. Oh, look, they even got the old well. There's an old well right here. Holy cow, they put stuff in it so nobody could fall in, probably. Yeah, that's an old well, I believe. Yeah, there's that tractor. It's an old, uh, what is that thing where you, it sends it up and shoots it out? The cropping, what do you call that? Columbine thing, whatever you want to call it. An old sh shed over there. Wow. This is cool. Yeah, it looks like they filled it in. I'm sure that's part of the old well. Yeah, you, it makes you wonder what the story is of this, how old this house is, who lived here, you know, and why it's in this shape right now, and how long is it going to stay? That's crazy. Oh, back on the road. And I see houses like this sometimes. It reminds me of this old show I used to watch back in the day. I can't remember what channel it was on. It was called If These Walls Could Talk. 
where they'd find things in attics and stuff. And somebody would do an investigation and find out the story on this stuff. It was an interesting, interesting show. Interesting show. You might want to go on it. Maybe on YouTube. Maybe there's foot, uh, some episodes on YouTube. I might have to look it up. What's it called? If These Walls Could Talk. It was a nice history kind of show. I think it was on History Channel. If I remember right. Stopped over here real quick. This place called the... Um, Maple River boat access. This is a boat access right here, but that's the Maple River. It's kind of cool. Figured I'd stop and check it out. I I eventually want to get me a kayak or something like that. Maybe I can come out here and do a little kayaking out here. That'd be nice. Here's a nice little surprise. I didn't expect to come up on this. This is one of those old, old roadside rest areas. They have, you know, and they got restroom there, picnic place you can have a picnic. But look, they got an overlook right here. This was a nice little surprise. Look at that. The inspiration, inspiration point. Enjoy the view from our your car standing only. No parking. GVPP. That's a weird sign. No parking it says. But there's parking spots right over there. <laughs> I don't get that. But yeah, you got a little overlook over here. Of, uh, I believe that's Grand River. Look at this. Whew. And there's a bee. <laughs> a bumblebee. See him? Big old fat bumblebee right there. Yeah, I don't get the sign says no. Uh, okay, all out off driveway. I don't know. Like I said. That one side was a little weird. Let's go down here and check out the view. This is pretty cool. Look at that. There's a little bridge right over here. You got view of the lake. You could actually have picnics right down there. This is nice. Yeah, I believe that's the Grand River. That is really nice. Never knew this was out here. See, that's that's exactly why I say the back roads are better. You can't see these from the highway. Yeah, you might pass by the Grand River, but you're going like 80, 90 miles an hour, and you miss all this beautiful view. Actually, it looks like there's a hiking trail down through here. I don't have time to do it right now, but. I'm definitely going to remember this and maybe take a hike over here one day. Yeah, that'd be a nice little hike right here. I'll have to remember this place. Put it on my hiking things. And I did not find this with all trails this time. Just a surprise little find. Check this out. They got a bench over here. It's a butterfly. Look. It's a little bench. Oh, and it's a memorial. It's a memorial. Joanne Joni's Butterfly Bench. A tribute to Sir, Sir Joan Lemon OP, 1941 to 2003. With loving memories. Louis Lamb Janderno. That is cool. 
Now that's a memorial bench. Look at that. Look at that. That is beautiful. I like that. And it's right here overlooking. Well, this is a beautiful view, but I said I'm gonna pen this down and come back and do a hike here one day. But the road calls me. I got other things to show you guys. Oh, well, final day thing here talking about this it's called the Re green view point enthusiast at this park 2002 well, those people so this is called the green view point okay here's a little bit more about this this park green view point dedicated may 28th 1927 to fred w green so, and there's a picture of Fred W. Green. That's cool. Okay, fellow travelers, stop down here in Lyons, Michigan. And I was about to cross over this bridge and I saw something. I had to stop and film. It's so beautiful. This is a little overlook right here. I had to turn around. They're doing some kind of work over here. You're gonna hear a chainsaw, so be prepared for that. Look at this. Look at that. That's beautiful, isn't it? Look at that. I had to stop and film this. Show you this beautiful view. Wow. There's some kind of a marker over here too. Here we go. Oh, the thing about Grand River mussels, which are clams basically. And this is the, Lion, the Lion's Dam was built in 1857, spanning 250 feet across the river at Lyons, Michigan. It was originally made for power generation. Later, Consumers Power sold the dam to the village of Lyons for $1. Due to its poor condition, the village of Lyons chose to remove the dam in 2016 and restored it to the natural stream the grand river restoration lions dam project partners included ionia conservation district michigan department of natural resources michigan department of uh, environmental quality united states fish and wildlife central michigan university that's cool so there used to be a dam right here And they tore it down. What's this cool? Now it's all natural. Look at that. Wonder if there's any pieces of the actual old dam out there. That is beautiful. The funny thing is I've been in Lyons many times. My uncle used to live here. And Never knew this was here. Learn something new every day. Well, I just realized, if you look right where I'm standing at, there's like a, a foundation. So this must have been the dam right here. Oop, and I almost stumbled. <laughs> that must have been the dam right there. And they left the foundation but remove the bot and the uh, the bodies, <laughs> the building.
This is what I like about doing the back roads. I mean, come on. I love finding stuff like this. This is beautiful. Beautiful day out. Get down the back roads, enjoy the views, everybody. You never know what you're gonna find. Now here's something I think is funny everywhere I go anymore. You know, the election's been over for a while now, but you, you see all these houses. I've seen houses everywhere. Still got the Trump 2020 on the things. Get over it, people. He's not president anymore. I mean, they still got their signs up. I don't know why. Now, this is something interesting. Look at this. It almost looks like I mean, an old post office or something. I'm not sure what this used to be, but they turned it into a public bathroom. Look, there's a public bathroom in there. It's a women's bathroom. I'm not gonna go in there, but look, there's a fireplace in there. That's cool. I wonder what this used to be. Okay, I did come inside, but I'm not in the bathroom. The bathroom's over there. But there's some pictures on this fireplace of this building. And there used to be a thing there that says tourist camp. Was this one of the cabins? See, there's another picture of it. This one's turned on the side. Is this tourist camp? That's interesting. Now there is a, some kind of marker right here. I wonder where that's at. Like a war memorial, it looks like. See, if you look, is there even a water pump out here? An old water pump. Right here is where that thing said tourist camp. Right in front of this building. That's interesting. And here's that memorial I was just looking at. Yeah, this is the war memorial for this area. Okay guys, I was just talking to these people there having like a farmer's market thing right here. Now I found out what this is. This really was a restroom. This was not anything else. This is this used to be the part of the old highway, the old style highways. And this was a rest area. Like you see on the highways, your side rest area. And this was it. I uh, say so this is the women's, but I think I see, you know, funny, it's funny, this big building is the women's restroom. If you look in the back, Here's a little, like, little outhouse, like, <laughs> I think that might be the men's. I'm not sure. Yeah. But this was one of the first, well, one of the original rest areas. Kind of like that one I was just at, and they were telling me a little bit more about that green viewpoint that this governor or somebody used to drive through here and that was his favorite spot to stop and look out now that's interesting one of the very first rest areas well one of the original rest areas can you believe that still exists that is cool See now, that's cool. I love finding stuff like that, you know. I never expected to find the one of the original rest areas in Michigan. I mean, that's just incredible. Right here in Lyons, Michigan. And like I said, I've been here many times. Never knew that. That that's that's cool. I love finding that. Thing. Those people were real nice. Talk to me. Love it. 
This is cool. I like to know the story of this. I mean, we obviously we know what this is, but why is it here? God bless America. Look at that. Got the American flag. Says God bless America. I had to shop and show that. Cause I love America. That is cool. I like that. I think it's funny. I'm waiting for one of these days. My GPS thing starts uh, chewing me out big time. Because every time I turn around to go film something, it says, make a U-turn. Go this way. Go this way. I'm like, no, shut up. <laughs> I'm starting. I'm trying to explore. <laughs> Okay guys, I stopped down to this little cemetery right here in Lyons, Michigan, uh, just outside of Lyons, Michigan, and it's, I'm not here, this isn't where the grave of the guy I actually came to visit in Lansing for my other video, this is a special visit for me. I haven't been here since he passed. My uncle is buried out here. Yep, I believe he's right over here. Because I remember this field. It's a beautiful area. And this is like a family cemetery, I believe. And the only reason why he's buried out here, because not at my family, he was the caretaker here. And I believe, yep, this is him. Here he is. Yeah, his stone's a little worn. Uh, Randall. See the name Randall? Yep, that's my Uncle Paul. Yeah, his stone is really wearing away a little bit. Believe it or not, he died on Thanksgiving Day. He went to lay down before dinner and never woke up and there he is and see the name Katrina right there yeah, she's still alive though that was his second wife that's not my aunt well she was kind of my second aunt she I guess she's gonna be buried here too but there's Pa yeah, the stone is kind of worn, but there he is, there's Uncle Paul. I told my mom I'd stop out here and visit him. Miss you, Uncle Paul. He was a great guy. I'll put a picture down of him. He was a real good guy. He had kind of the same sense of humor I did. I do. I mean, I'm gonna stop down in here in Portland, Portland, Michigan, and look, this old church right here. They definitely need some repair, fixing up. There's an old church. Yeah, they definitely needed to restore this. Check this out real quick, uh. Look at that old car. That is sweet. And he's about to drive off in it. That is cool. Love your car, man. Love your car. <laughs> what year is it? What year is it? 30. Awesome. <laughs> that is cool. Look at it. <laughs> Oh, he's having trouble starting it. <laughs> Check this out in the same parking lot. This is the BFW hall. Look at that, there's this old uh, tank vehicle.
That is cool. And look at the gun. There's a big gun over there. Dedicated to the Michigan men and women who gave their lives for their country. That's for sure. See, I like that. Is uh, I was just talking to him. He says he's uh he got that from his uncle. It's his uncle bought it in '44, and uh, he's been restoring it. So he's having a little problems with it, but. Hey, at least he's working on it. He's having a little trouble. But yeah, I'm sure he'll get a good one. He was a nice guy. All right, guys. One more last thing I'm going to show you. Yeah, if you notice in my videos, I like the quirky little things out the road. And there is actually a thing out there that they call Weird America. Uh, Weird Michigan, I mean. Right here on Grand River highway right here as you come into portland michigan sorry about the traffic sound but you come on and you see this it's a silo that is a giant potato chip can it says new era cherry processed potato chips healthy food for the alacan side Yeah, I've been uh, I've seen this many times. I've been wanting to actually show you guys this. I've, other people have shown this, but yeah, there's a giant potato chip can, the silo. It's, like, it's one of those weird things you find on the roadsides. Get a little closer look at it. See, a healthy food on the alkaline side, the new era scientifically processed potato chips i've never had them i don't know if they actually exist look at the almost looks like a naked woman on there to be honest with you but that is cool so i've seen those on the website and stuff like that called about weird michigan and this is a, one of the things that you see on the roadside it's a giant potato chip can All right, my fellow travelers, that's gonna be about it for this another one of these little back road adventure trips right here in Michigan. Love getting out in the back roads. I, you know, I love finding things that I've never even heard about, like that old rest area. Never expected to find that. You know, that little lookout area, I'm definitely gonna be going back there. And if there's a hiking trail there, I'm definitely gonna be hiking that one. But you know, I got to show you some other cool stuff, you know, and, you know, like this giant, I've been wanting to show you this giant potato chip can for the longest time, you know, I knew right where this is at, I've seen other people do it, you know? well, there it is, now you've seen it in my channel, right here in Portland, Michigan, the, the giant potato chip can, but eventually I got to get it going, Gotta get to that other cemetery before it gets too late so I can find the grave and finish that other video of mine and then get home and start editing this stuff. Sorry about the traffic sound. There's not much I can do about traffic. I mean, it is the highway, old highway here. But, yeah, this was fun. And trust me, you're gonna see a lot more adventures like this. And I hope you enjoy these little back road adventure things like that i love doing them and i hope you love seeing them so if you like this video give me a thumbs up share me out share me out on all these social media tell your friends tell your family about me so i can continue traveling and showing you cool stuff like this also leave me a comment any comments appreciate it. any ideas for me let me know i just might show up and do it so until next time my fellow travelers i'll see you around the mitten